Hi, this is Glenn Hagen. Recently, I invited all my clients and some prospective clients to attend a home seller seminar that a few were unable to attend. Since I didn't want anyone to miss out on this information, I've put together the following video. I hope you find it of value. Today's home selling environment is trickier than ever. Although home prices have gone down nationally by about 31%, Home price declines here in Suffolk County have ranged from 2006 to as little as 8% declines in Babylon to 57% declines in Central Islip. So as you can see, home prices depend greatly in the town that your property is located within. Take a moment and pause this slide if you'd like to compare the numbers. Some would say that homes aren't selling, but you know they're just plain wrong. On average, 12,630 homes are selling each and every day, and another 8,715 buyers are receiving a mortgage every day. Let's take a look at historic national home prices. As you can see, the norm was about 3.6% for home price appreciation between 1987 and 1999. Then during the bubble from the first quarter of 2000 to the second quarter of 2006, prices increased 10.4% annually, and then came the bust from the third quarter of 2006 until today, where home values have decreased on average 7.1% per year. Again, as I've said earlier, home values vary greatly from town to town, and you should check with a qualified realtor in your area if you want to know just how much home prices have been affected in your hometown. And as you can see from the next slide, home prices aren't expected to rebound significantly anytime soon. And you'd have to take this rebound further out when analyzing the expected appreciation in New York State. One of the great seers who predicted the end of the housing bubble has changed his tune now and is espousing now is the time to buy. And Warren Buffett had this advice for his secretary. He said, buying a home right now will be the best opportunity in your lifetime. But does that mean you should wait until spring when all the buyers are out looking? If you look at the bust, you'll see that prices have gone down a great deal. But when you look at the next chart, you'll see that if you ran a straight line, the prices are still inflated by historic measures. Historically, we've known that when there's a one to four month supply, that's a seller's market. A five to six month supply is more the norm, and more than seven month supply is a buyer's market. We've also known about the inverse correlation of bank-owned properties hitting the market and home prices. I mean that as the number of bank-owned properties rise, home prices fall. You see, it's the foreclosure situation, especially in New York State, that has me concerned. As you can see, foreclosures were being processed fairly well until the fourth quarter of 2010, with the robo-signing fiasco the banks were faced with, everything seemed to come to a halt. As a result, banks held off on foreclosing, held off until just recently when their $25 billion settlement with the government was announced. So all this pent-up foreclosure processing has resulted in something we refer to as shadow inventory, a term you're going to hear a lot about in the next couple years homes that will be foreclosed upon, taking prices down further. An executive at Wells Fargo acknowledged that the agreement with the government will allow the banks to proceed with millions of foreclosures that have been, until recently, been stalled. The next chart shows the states that are in the worst shape, ranging from states that allow for swift foreclosures to states that are jurisdiction states allowing the courts to be involved in the process. So you see the color of New York State? That's not good for obtaining higher prices anytime soon. As you can see, the foreclosure process takes longer in New York State than any of the other 49 states in the Union. Good if you're being foreclosed upon, bad if you're trying to obtain plausible price. 
and according to a Chase analyst, home prices could fall another 6 to 7 percent before they hit bottom. According to Fitch, home prices could see a decline of another 13 percent, with the Northeast and New York in particular becoming the hardest hit. In fact, if a $400,000 home falls 5 percent in value over the next six months with it, which is entirely possible, a family is standing to lose $769 every week. So what's it all about? It just means that you must price your home compelling if you want to see it sell, so you can prevent further potential loss that increased bank-owned properties will create. Or you could wait until spring, just not this spring. Hi, this is Glenn Hagen again. I hope you found this information valuable as I did. Seeing housing information presented like this can be a real eye-opener. If you have any questions on the information contained within this video or any real estate matters whatsoever, be sure to call me at 516-429-9399 or email me at glenn, one N, G-L-E-N, at glennhagen.com. I'll be happy to respond.